it's 12 noon, and it's time now for the Peter Channel new news report on this Sunday afternoon, January 22nd, 2017. Good afternoon, buddy. I am Peter Wiggins here. The time is 12 noon on this Sunday afternoon, January 22nd, 2017, and we got a temperature of 51 degrees here. Not in today's high, will be around the 50s. Here now, the Peter Channel new news report on this Sunday afternoon, and we start you off with some breaking news here in the Peter Channel newsroom. Can't say Rose Pitcher, Yadana Ventura has died as a result of a car crash at the Dominican Republic was 25 years old for the Dominican National Police and the Ventura as a victim on Sunday morning. So a sad day in the world of baseball. One than one million people marched for Washington, D.C. in the North American City Saturday to show support for women's rights and express their discontent over the election of President Donald Trump. At least 11 people are dead and 23 people injured following severe weather struck seven George Randall. Early Sunday morning, a day after four people killed in a tornado spawned by the same sister that touched down in Mississippi. A senior aide to the President Trump said Sunday that there's no plans to release his tax return to mark ship from the Trump's pledge during the campaign to make them public once on an audit was completed. At his first news conference, Sean Spicer, the White House press secretary, accused news outlets of intentionally manipulating photographs to minimize the enormous support that President Trump received at his inauguration. Russia's President Vladimir Putin and some pointers for the newly inaugurated American President Donald Trump in his last dance episode Saturday Night Live. Why does Chief stop, stop Ryan's purpose on Sunday defending President Donald Trump? On CIA's meeting, it was a love fest. Trace May is coming under pressure to say whether she knows the right report reported misfire the UK's nuclear weapon system before a crucial government's vote. Jerusalem, the minister of Jerusalem, was granted a final approval on Sunday to construct an under the new home to East Jerusalem with a hardline cabinet minister of the government ran it to major West Bank settlement as emboldened. London, British Prime Minister Theresa May will become the first foreign leader to hold White House talks with President Trump when she travels to Washington Friday. Dana Street confirmed on Sunday. The plane was reported a charter aircraft was. We already did that. Republicans plan to return control of Medicaid over the states as part of the placement of a formal care act according to advisor to President Donald Trump. Former Exxon Mobil Chief Executive Rex Tilson bid to be the next Secretary of State receiving a major bus Sunday when a pair of Republican senators were expressed. Consternation about him announced they will vote in their John McCain and Lindsey Graham. Washington beyond the empty seats bill by a day earlier by President Donald Trump's VIPs far past the state where celebrities. An activist said in London Sunday's Women's March took a turn to deliver campaign style speeches at a small gathering. President Donald Trump reacted to the protest tanks on one day earlier that drew millions wondering why didn't these people vote celeb cert caused badly. At least 36 people died in a train derailment in the southern Indian state, Indian state of Andhra Pradesh, officials said Sunday. The Trump administration won't send a delegation to Thompson Castle and Warren Syria, State Department said. Vienna oil producer said Sunday that the landmark deal. It's a seminal slash up by almost 2 million barrels per day. It was on track to make the review of progress. President Trump moved to fast a Friday to noon story. President has handed a number of executives to give him a sooner look what this press day will be like. An evolutionary biologist named a new moth species after U.S. President Donald Trump more than homage for new moth species. His name is a desperate call for environment and wildlife protection. Donald Trump and Elon Musk are known to admit at least once. We are planning to discuss Martin and public private partnerships. Even though Musk has stated it is not quite the guy, according to CNBC, and Vernon, the president, we have called to join. Crammed in a dorm with one bathroom, six scientists will spend eight months eating mostly freeze dried foods with an occasional treat of spam and have only their small sleep because to retreat to the privacy. There wasn't a surgeon in there this week, Washington, but things were selling down a bit of Florida. Peter Challenger's time is now 12.04 on this Sunday afternoon, and it is time now for Sports Sports. Today, the Boston Bruins will be taking on the Pittsburgh Fans game time at 3 o'clock, while the Patriots and the Seals will square off at the Gillette Stadium at 6.40 p.m. for the AFC Championship game, while the Green Bay Packers and the Atlanta Falcons will square off at 3.05 p.m. for the NFC Championship game. ESPN South Baltimore gave it to tell the gun in the East Boston resident who pulled a fire alarm at the Seals Team Hotel, was later happened by Massachusetts State Police. Mary Kerber will also remind us how difficult it is to state number one. Peter Jones is on 12.04 on this Sunday afternoon, and it's time now for a traffic and transit report. Beep, beep. Let's submit it with you. Someone has some prints from Monday the disabled bus, cut meter rail, and the ferries they are looking good. Okay, take a look at 
I was in Bowie's uh, New England. Let's start you off around the area of Gillette Stadium where Group 1 is a little slow between 140 and off speed around the Gillette Stadium area. But, but when the game time rolls around the corner, expect this to be busier than normal here. So expect some delays around the area of the Gillette Stadium before the Patriots Steelers game. Okay, take a look at Howards and Bowie's here. Study off down in New York City where Alliance Press Wing both bends its back to a midtown tunnel. So 70 DD spine side back to one park soap around to Brooklyn Bridge. Lost Press Wing Westbound side back to one Queens. Belt Park Way Westbound side back to one JFK Airport. West Side Highway and Southbound side back to one Harlem. Lincoln Tunnel and Westbound side back to before the Lincoln Tunnel headed towards New Jersey. I don't get it. Very proper way. West Bound side. Back to Milford. Milford. 91. North Bound side. Back to Mary State. 84. Harvard, Connecticut. 84. West Bound side. Back to Mary State. 91. 91. And South Bound side. Back to Mary State. 91. 57. In Springfield. But how was then? Always a massive disconnected. But I don't know. Looking good then. Mary State. 879. On South Bound side. Back to Mary State. Upstate New York. And Vermont. And Harvard, 59. On North Bound side. So on 7. Group back headed towards Montreal. Peter Chell does on 1206 on this Sunday afternoon. And it's time now for a weather report here. And take a look at radar and it shows a lot of rain shots stretch from Amherst, Hampshire, stretching down from Southwest New Hampshire, down from Suffolk, Vermont, and stretching down as that fall, Greenfield, and south of Pittsfield, and stretching down Coitman's, New York, and a lot of rain shots from Queensbury, and North Carolina, and stretching down genetically into down Yucca. Here. And seeing some spotty snow sleet and rain shots west of Laconia, and southeast of Laconia, New Hampshire, and west of Rochester, New Hampshire, seeing some spotty snow sleet around Rumford, Maine. Here. Patchy Rain Shadows, West of Messina, New York. And this will be a, some rain showers on West New York, from the Buffalo area, and Northwest of Pennsylvania. And this is a line of showers and storms stretching off the Carolina coast, stretching all the way down for Southern Georgia and Mississippi and Alabama, and stretching around Arkansas and Missouri and Eastern Kansas and Oklahoma. So that's the same, that's same storm system as Crispon tornadoes here. And that's going to be the same system we're going to be contending with on Monday night and a Tuesday here. And we are under a flood flood watch from 1 p.m. Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning. As for of the Massachusetts Brown, including in Fallen and Massachusetts, Bristol, Central, and Southeast Middlesex, Essex, and Norfolk, and Plymouth, Suffolk, and Brown, and Bristol, Kent, Newport, Providence, and Washington. Heavy rain is expected Monday afternoon about early Tuesday morning. Most locations expect between 2 and 3 inches of rain. Significant flood in the urban, poor drainage, and low lying areas is the greatest threat, including roads that tend to flood in every rain. Small rivers and streams may also flood. Surrounded areas and larger mainstream rivers should remain within their veins. A flood and watch means that flooding is possible. If you live in a work in an area important to flood, take time in their matters to protect any items that could be damaged by flood waters. Travelers should be prepared for slower than usual commits Monday afternoon, possibly Tuesday morning. I know often risks and a case both become flooded. Never drive out a flooded roadway. And in addition to that, I appear that strong and damaging winds are likely along the Boston Province Court in Port South East Monday afternoon, Monday night. A so wind gusts of 45, 55 miles are likely some. But the risk of a few gusts up to 6 miles are some special possible at the time of the Monday evening and high time. If the storm does not pull away and fast enough, then there could be a risk of minor coastal flooding during the Tuesday morning night tide along East Basin shoreline. Okay, 7 day forecast goes like this. But this afternoon, slight chest rain after 3 p.m. Mostly gusts come out 400 degrees. North Face about 6 to 8 miles chest rain to 20 percent. Tonight, a slight chest rain before 3 a.m. Then a slight chest rain on snow between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Then a slight chest rain snow sleet after 5 a.m. Class gusts low about 25 degrees. And North Face about 79 miles out of gusts like 29 miles out of chest rain to 20 percent. But Monday, chest rain and snow before 9 a.m. Then rain out of 41 degrees. Breeze with the east with about 11 to 20 miles out of gusts like 40 miles out of chest rain to 8 percent. Little dose sleet the commission expected for Monday night. Rain, the keep rate being every time, though at 30 degrees. North is about 11 to 18 miles away, gusts at 44 miles away. Chest pages 1%, percent new principal to 3 to 1 to 2 inches possible for Tuesday, rain level for 7 a.m. Then shout the lack of rain between 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. 140 degrees. North is about 6 to 8 miles away, gusts at 24 miles away. Chest pages 8 percent. So that a chest of shots made before midnight. Mostly cast got about 35 degrees. Then chest pages 3 percent. Wednesday, most of the sunny podcast got about 49 by 36 degrees, but Thursday, most of the sunny podcast got 50 by 39 to 30 degrees. Here, yeah. Friday, most of the sunny podcast got about 41 by 24 degrees, and for Saturday, most of the sunny podcast got about 37 degrees. 
Currently in Tottenham Nets 50 overcast. And out in Norton and it's 51 and overcast with humidity 1% and midfield it's 50 degrees. And that's going to be for the Peter Channel. New news report on this. January 22nd, 2017 on a Sunday afternoon. Please have a good afternoon. Good positive. Don't be a good evening. And I'll see you at 11 o'clock later on a football because there's going to be no 5 o'clock newscast or evening newscast because we're going to be watching the Patriots Steelers game. And before that, we're going to be watching the NFC Championship game and the Bruins game. Go Pats! See you at 11.